Welcome to Fresh Raspberry Pi. In this video, I just wanted to go over a few of the Raspberry Pi projects that I have on display here. The possibilities are endless. There's so many things. There are so many things that you can do with Raspberry Pis. It is unbelievable. six or seven months ago. I didn't know what a Raspberry Pi was. I had no idea what a Raspberry Pi was other than something that you would put in the oven and, and, and bake and eat. Uh, I did not know all the different things that you can do with these devices. Um, I'm not affiliated with uh, the Raspberry Pi um, company in any way. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I'm not receiving any type of payments or endorsements um, for anything that I'm telling you or showing you. I am just a regular person and there are a few of us that are going to be uh, working on this project, working on this channel to bring videos to you. But I myself, I am just a regular person. I have no background in programming. Um, I have no background in computers. I'm just somebody who came across the Raspberry Pi six or seven months ago and it piqued my interest and I started doing things with them. So what you see here is um, I have a couple Raspberry Pi Zeros over here. The one on the left is a case that is showing the pins so you can get access to the pins. And uh, the one in the middle right here, uh, that little circle in the center, that has a camera in it. Um, that's another project that I was uh, working on where I basically turned a Raspberry Pi into a security camera and I do have cameras up um, in my home right now. They are Raspberry Pi Zeros. Uh, they work great. The one on the right, that's a Raspberry Pi Zero with a screen on the top and um, there are three buttons on, on one side and then there's a little, little joystick on the, on the left and you can do all sorts of things with that, um, like a lot of people like to play video games um, with the Raspberry Pis. Uh, personally, I don't do the video games, but that is something you could use that for and uh, turn that into like a, a little video game console. Um, right there, I have three Raspberry Pi Zeros that I was going to attempt to do a little Raspberry Pi Zero cluster with. Um, that's kind of on standby, I haven't done anything further with that. Right here, we got a Raspberry Pi uh, 3. It is actually hooked up. I have a TV right here functioning as my monitor, and uh, that is hooked up on one of, one of the uh, um, uh, outlets of the, uh, the ports of the TV. And uh, I do occasionally use that for um, different things. It's uh, still a great, great tool to, to use, even though now you have a Raspberry Pi 4s. Uh, right here we got a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, this is uh, the 2 gigabyte version. Um, and this is truthfully, believe it or not, this is kind of functioning as my go-to uh, home desktop computer. And um, for those of you who know about Raspberry Pis, you know that these things are very powerful. They can do a lot. And for those of you who don't know this, um, I'm telling you right now. I use this little device right here for almost anything that I am trying to do on a computer. I do have um, computers, I have a, a laptop, and I have a desktop computer. So it's not that I don't have them, I have them. This is my go-to. It's running right now, and uh, I have a few things up and running in the, in the background here. Um, what you're seeing on the screen is HTOP, and that is a uh, tool that basically lets you know all the processes that are running on um, your device. I have the screen split into four because um, I have uh, this Raspberry Pi running, so I have HTOP showing what's, what's running on this um, Raspberry Pi, but I've also used this Raspberry Pi to connect via SSH into some of my other Raspberry Pis, which, which is what you see here. So I'm using this one right here to connect to these over here. Um, so what we got here is 
I have uh, I have the start of a cluster going right here, um, and you can see that I have them being powered by Ethernet. So I have my Raspberry Pi. They're all Raspberry Pi fours, uh, two gigabytes, and I have the power over Ethernet hats on them. So they're being powered by Ethernet, and they're also connected to uh, internet via ethernet and uh, that is the start of my uh, first and ever cluster computer that is going great and I'm able to connect to those via this guy right here and what you see up there in the background is some some of those um, screens are um, these Raspberry Pis right here that you see in this cluster. Then over here, uh, this is probably my favorite one, honestly. Uh, I don't have a desktop running on this one, but this one right here, this guy is unbelievable. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 that is running, but it's in this Argon case. Um, it's like a $50 case that I bought. So inside of that case is the Raspberry Pi 4. I have the 8 gigabyte version running inside of this. It's the only one that I have that's 8 gigabyte. So I have an 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 inside of this Argon case. And then I have also inside of there, I have the, um, uh, not sure exactly what it's called, an M.2 um, uh, uh, storage device. And it has 250 gigs on it. So between that and this Raspberry Pi 4, this thing is unbelievable. It's unbelievable the power that this thing has. There's nothing that I can't do with this guy right here. Um, I'm running Docker on this. I have about 30 Docker containers that are running on this right now, believe it or not. And it is incredible. I'm going to do a whole series just on that. And then in the background right here, I got uh, an 8 terabytes external hard drive. And that's to store any of the things that I need uh, across all of my devices, including my computers. Uh, for those of you who don't know about Raspberry Pis, this is just a introductory video to show you uh, and to get you excited because the possibilities are endless. There's nothing that you cannot do with these things. Nothing. You want to program, you want a home security system, you want to play games, you want a desktop computer. It's endless. There's nothing you cannot do. So stay tuned. I got more videos to come. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.